Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joe Barbie here, and I'm introducing to you guys the new Andy's Masters Cordless. Um, just a quick review on it. Um, I just bought it um, a long time ago, and I actually now got it. It was a little, a little bit delayed on um, availability, but I finally got it. I was able to do um, a couple haircuts with it, and. Once again, guys, uh, after dropping the machine, as soon as I open the box, but making sure everything is actually intact, um, nothing's chipped or broken. So, drop test, definitely. Uh, it survived. So, with that said, guys, this is the new Andy's cordless um, master clipper with the lithium battery ion battery cordless clipper all right guys just a quick overview this is the base it's pretty hard pretty sturdy um, it does have the connection right there um, and it does have the connection in the back now looking at this base I'm real iffy on stuff like this because it can get damaged but I guess because of the security wall that this has it won't give you a chance to damage this but only time will tell with that said, let's get into this. Um, this is definitely the um, Andy's Masters. You can identify it from a mile away. Um, they definitely kept, kept the hard casing on it. Um, and pretty much it looks the same. It has all the little, you know, lip, little measuring whatever on the side. It has the lever. Um, it does have the standard blade, which I will talk about this in a little um, Charging base now. I love stupid shit like this as far as the bottom with because it does this I love that blue light. Um, also, it is a little loud. No, it's very loud um, And that's one thing I really do not like about it But I am gonna open it to see why is this machine so damn loud Okay, so with that said, um, it does come with a zero, a triple zero to a one blade. Um, I am definitely a uh, master's fiend and I definitely put fade blades on every single one of my clippers. Why? Because it's so much easier to go from that super bald and then just flicking it out. You know, to me, the fade blade is so much easier. So I was like, you know what, Joe? I am going to keep the original standard blade and I'm gonna try it out because I usually as soon as I get a machine it's standard for me to go straight to the fade blade so I was like you know what I'm gonna try something different with this one so I kept it with the um, original I kept it with the original blade and I'm gonna be honest guys like yes I did adjust it as far as I could um, I don't know if you guys can see there. It's so it does get pretty close. For that, I do use my uh, Andy's T cordless uh, trimmer for that to take that last line out. Um, so fading from this, honestly, I would go from the only actually guards I use for this is the zero and the one. After that, the two. Um, that's already clipper over comb. I don't even touch the two unless I really, really, really have to or somebody's basically using the two on top and pretty much it. So, um, the way that I fade with this and I love the way this fades is because I go with the skin, as you guys know, whip it out and then open it, whip it out. And the, what I love about this and the fact that the teeth that I love about the teeth is I'm not like nag like clipping people or like nudging on people's skin like it's not grabbing people's skin so I'm able to once it's open grab it and then just tilt up and just finish that blade and I can actually go up to maybe the one and a half two like this um, if you're real light with the hands um, the machine is definitely light so you're able to use it um, for a long, for basically a long time without getting, you know, tired with the with the wrist. Now, um, I know a lot of you guys are using the wall 
uh, magic clips. Um, I'm not going to say this because I'm an Andy's guy, but I did go walk and the magic clips feel so cheap to me and they feel so, and then you feel when they lag, you feel when they're dragging, you feel when they're losing power. Um, and to me, it's just like, so this, I've done a couple haircuts with this and I love the way it performs. Uh, definitely, I thought it was gonna drag on white on wet hair. I really did. Even though it says it's good for for wet hair, um, I thought it was gonna drag, so I definitely put it to the test when I was doing my clipper over comb, straight to the top. Boom, didn't drag. It didn't. It didn't get stuck at all, which I was definitely surprised. Um, so I definitely put it to the test. Obviously, it went through the drop test. It survived. Um, but it's pretty dope. Uh, supposedly said. 90 minutes runtime charges in an hour as soon as i'm done with it whatever haircut spray it down clean it right on the base and i've been doing that for two days straight and it definitely hasn't um given me any sign of loss of power and i'm going from one haircut quick i'm talking about maybe a minute between one custom and the next one so like charge time listen there's more than 90 minutes in a day so um, during that charge time, it does keep up with me. So um, I'm very happy and satisfied with what the the whole overall of the the masters. Um, <laughs> one thing you guys are gonna probably feel the same way about it. One thing that I've always had a problem. It's not even a problem with the machine. It's it's these little things. Um, basically these little things right here when you're brushing and I'm brushing off this gets so annoying because it gets the brush like the brush bits stuck in here and you have these little like hairs or like brush hairs that get stuck on here all the time and it happens with my masters and I was not surprised to see it on here um, that's pretty much it. Other than that, it looks pretty sturdy. Uh, it feels definitely sturdy. All the original insides, um, as far as the Andy's Masters corded, um, pretty dope. Also, the lever when it first when you first get it, it's a fight. Like you're literally gonna need two hands just to move the lever. So all you have to do is just take these two screws out, take the blade out. Be very careful. This thing has a spring inside that as soon as you pop these two screws open this the blade just launches out and you're gonna have to catch it hopefully it doesn't chip um, when you do pop it out um, also it has four screws on the inside so you can do the four screws and with the four screws just tighten just light like don't tighten it loosen them up a little bit just to get this uh, to your desired tension on the blade so guys this is my review on the uh, new andy's cordless uh, lithium ion clipper um, that's it hope you guys enjoyed it hit the subscribe button follow share uh, or you can find me on instagram king's barber that's k-n-g-z barber and that's pretty much it guys until next time take care